Hi friends, it's Miss Sears. Let's start our time together with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule, to guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, friends, we are going to talk about the Good Shepherd today. Who do you think is the Good Shepherd? I want you to think about it right now. Who do you think is the Good Shepherd? I'll give you a hint. We're reading it out of this book today. The Bible from our classroom, and we're reading it from one of the Gospels. Remember we talked about how there's four of them? That's one of the Gospels. Gospel of John. All right, you ready to see who the Good Shepherd is? Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd, who is willing to die for the sheep. When a hired man, who is not a shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees a wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and runs away. So the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The hired man runs away because he is only a hired man and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, as the Father knows me, and I know my Father in the same way. I know my sheep, and they know me, and I am willing to die for them. There are other sheep, which belong to me, that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them too. They listen to my voice, and they will become one flock with one shepherd. All right, so what does that mean? Jesus said he was the good shepherd. Well, a long time ago when Jesus was alive, they had shepherds and sheep. Okay, we don't really have a lot of shepherds right now, but they did back then. And these shepherds would take care of the sheep while they were out in the fields. And they would sleep out there and they would take care of them. Now, now we have fancy fences and gates and security systems and things that keep animals safe on farms. But back then, they really didn't have anything like that. So the shepherds would be out in the fields, and they would be protecting their sheep from predators so, so and different animals like wolves that could hurt them. Okay? So the shepherd protected their sheep because they loved them so much, and the, she and the sheep knew the shepherds by their voices. Isn't that cool? The sheep knew the shepherds by their voices. So... Jesus, because he loves us so much, protects us. And how did he protect us? We just learned about that. How did he protect us? He died for our sins, friends. He died for our sins. He protected us like the shepherd protects the sheep. Isn't that really wonderful? I think that's awesome. So Jesus is the good shepherd. He guards his sheep and he guides his sheep because the shepherd would also guide his sheep to good grass and good food. So he would take them to places what they are, where they needed to go and the places that would help them. So those are all the things that a shepherd would do. Does Jesus lead us to good things? Does Jesus help us to make good decisions and lead us to things that will be good for us and not bad for us? think he does. Remember, he taught us that we need to love our neighbor as ourselves. And he taught us that God is the most important thing, right? Those are all really good things. Those are things that he leads us to. Just like the shepherd leads his sheep to water or grass or anything like that. Okay, friends? All right, well, you guys have a really awesome day, okay? Bye, friends.